Today I'm going to show you about this bowl that I made into a sink from a maple bowl that a friend of mine milled and uh, during the drying process it cracked terribly and he didn't want it, he threw it out so I said hmm I think I can rescue that so that's what this two-part three-part video will be about. I first had to repair the cracks, some of them relatively severe and I used CA glue, I used wood filler, I used epoxy, um, I used a variety of different things just to fill these cracks and make it waterproof. I also bought some carbide negative rake scrapers. I know it says rack. I can't spell. Anyway. Well, then I decided to go back to the regular carbide bit, not the negative rake, and see if I could mill out more of the inside. And it was a bit rough, but. Uh, I needed to get down and more aggressively than the negative rake scraper was managing. And once I stopped the lathe to look at my progress, you could see it's a little aggressive because of that regular carbide bit chopping through the dry wood. And I also had to use a very long, I used the Pro Easy Wood Tools because I had a huge extension. The problem with this grizzly lay that I use is I can't get very close with this tool rest so it's a bit challenging. And now you can see I've moved on to some hand sanding and then I also uh, started to do some power sanding. Typically when you sand you're supposed to slow your lathe down but I can't do that because this grizzly only goes to 600 which is pretty fast for sanding. I, I think it's supposed to be, well, slower than that. I don't know how slow, but slower than that. I'm milling the back side of the bowl in the same position as I milled the front with a square carbide cutter. And here you can see I'm using uh, Starbond CA glue and I really like that little tip adapter. I'm concerned that it might get plugged up but at this point it's not. It's working well and then I'm using the uh, CA accelerator to seal the deal and I've done this all the way around the outside of the bowl. I also did it on the inside of the bowl to try to help uh, seal up any potential cracks. I'm sanding down the CA glue so it's really nice finish. I was happy with the finish that I got on that. Once I was happy with the finish, I took the uh, bowl slash sink over to my work table and I cut off that little area that I couldn't reach for fear of damaging not only the carbide bit but my uh, the jaws on the easy wood tool chuck. So I cut this off and then I 
tried to see if it was level, so it's important that the sink sit flat on the countertop. So here I'm using an angle grinder with a 40 grit sandpaper on it to make the bottom dead flat so when it sits on the counter there's no rocking. So there was just a few areas left on the inside and the back side that there were just some divots that I didn't think the resin would fill, especially since I'm just letting it drip down the edges. Anyway, I filled those with a um, stainable uh, wood filler and um, that seemed to do the trick. But this is the sanding process after I filled those cracks. You can see they're a lighter color, which I'll take care of. And here I'm cleaning up the uh, surface, the inside and the outside with denatured alcohol to get rid of the dust and get an idea of what this bowl is going to look like once I seal it. Now on to staining the light colored cracks with a, I used a dark walnut stain, I think it's Minwax, doesn't matter, whatever you use. Uh, but this is pinpointing certain areas and then once I get it on there I, I rub it down either sometimes I use my finger, sometimes I use a paper towel just to make sure it's not so dark but there you go, there you can kind of see how it blends in better and um, just make it look better and darker I find is always better than a lighter color. Light's just too contrasty so I tend to go with the darker stains to make it uh, more aesthetically pleasing. You might be saying to yourself, that looks pretty contrasty like it is. But once I put the finish on it and once I get the resin on it, the lighter colors in this wood itself will darken up and it will it'll blend in beautifully. So this is the end of part one. In part two, I'm gonna show you how I seal the bowl, how I resin the bowl, how I cut the hole for the drain, all that good stuff. And that's coming soon. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications so you can see the next video coming up. Thanks, please like 